Hey y'all, it's Coach K and I want to welcome you to episode 39 of the Stimulus Package. Today we're talking about greatness. Okay, so I know that a lot of people struggle with this. I've struggled with it at one point in my life where I knew that God had placed greatness inside of me, but I was not ready to embrace it. I was running from it. I didn't want to deal with it because I felt like man, what if I can't maintain it? What if I can't um, fulfill the responsibilities? Or, you know, how was that going to make me look? I was more concerned with how it was going to make me look versus the impact it was going to allow God to have on his people. So I had to really sit back and get myself together at that time and really think about how important it was to not worry about me and how I looked, but worry about the the gift that God gave me to serve and worry about how important it was to fulfill the purpose. God has created a will for us all. I know a lot of people hear the word will when it comes to money, when it comes to family, leaving something, um, or, you know, creating some type of uh, inheritance for you. But I like to think of God's will as that same thing, like when it comes to us. He grants us so many different gifts, so many different opportunities and situations where we can really impact other people and like really give them that spark and that that encouragement that they need to keep pushing through our life. We were put here to be, you know, supportive of each other and to like help each other because honestly, we weren't built to like make it alone. We're built to be, you know, interconnected. So When I had my moments back in the day, I had to really sit back and be like, bro, it's not about you. It's not about what you want. It's not about how you feel and how you think you will look. It's about fulfilling God's purpose. And it's about being obedient. (laughs) I was watching Pastor Darius's um, series, Beast Mode. And it's part two. I watched part two this past Sunday. And it really inspired me because the title was Let Me Be Great. And I think that a lot of times we stop ourselves from being great. God created us to be great. He created us in his image and he's the greatest of all time, the GOAT. So of course, his children are going to be, you know, a chip off the block. Like we're going to be great too if we allow ourselves to be great. And what that consists of is like putting ourselves in position to hear God, to understand what gifts we have and not be, not be boastful, but be, you know, aware and alert of our gifts and how they can be used. Pastor Darius talked about how sometimes we, we take the word humble as a, um, direction to like not know who we are and not really like be bold and say what we can do. I think that what he displayed in his sermon was like telling us that it's okay to be sure of yourself. It's okay to acknowledge your gifts. It's okay to know what you bring to the table and the value that you can add. When you understand that, you're able to apply it in certain areas to be a solution instead of you know, sitting back and watching something happen and not doing anything about it. So I wholeheartedly want to just encourage y'all to take the time to understand who you are. If you know your gifts, if you know something that you're absolutely great at, proclaim it, understand it, speak it, be aware of it and be happy about it. But at the same time, you need to make sure that you always acknowledge the source, which is God, because you can't do any of it Without him, you can't do anything, and I mean anything, without his grace and his power and his strength and his favor. So this week, I just want to encourage y'all to, um, you know, be, be a beast out here. You can be a beast out here and still be humble. You just need to make sure that you are acknowledging God, asking him what he wants you to do with the gift, take direction from him, and understand that Your dreams are not manufactured. Your dreams are deposited. And God has really like fine crafted everything he wants us to do. Like he has already written the movie, the story, the sitcom of our lives. Like my movie is already made. God already wrote it, right? I have to be a good vessel and allow him to direct me to the past, the people, the resources, the things, 
and the visions and the dreams that he wants me to go towards. I don't know about y'all, but I need God's favor. I need his grace. I need his mercy. I need his direction because the last thing I want to do is misguide someone else because I was moving off of ego instead of moving off of divine power and um, understanding and clarity from God. So this week, y'all focus on like getting in his presence, talk to him, ask him what the vision is, what he wants you to do. And whenever he speaks, move. I mean, I know it's easier said than done, but just like don't delay, like no hesitation, just go. Take the leap of faith because at the end of the day, we're attached to the most high and God will cover us. And if something happens where you thought he said something like Pastor Darius said, he was like, if something happens where you misunderstand what he said and it doesn't turn out the way that you want it to turn out or you thought it would, just take that on the chin and be like, hey, shoot, I thought that's what he said, but I guess not. So we're going to go back to the drawing board. All right, y'all. So it's not, you don't look dumb out here when you try. I just want to say that you can't look dumb because you're actually pursuing what it is you feel that God is telling you to do. So don't worry about looking any kind of way. Don't worry about what other people have to say. Don't worry about public praise because at the end of the day, as long as you are doing your job, you're doing your purpose and you are focused on serving versus being praised and impressing, you will feel a peace that you can't explain. And you will know, God will affirm in you like that you're on the right path. You will get that confirmation in different ways. Just trust him and y'all keep moving forward and stay focused. And understand that God is in control. All right, y'all. Until next time, stay focused, keep grinding, and respect the process. I'm Coach K. Come follow us at Level 27 Coaching on all social media platforms. And also subscribe to our website at www.level27coaching.com. All right, I love y'all. Have a great week. Bye.